Welcome guys, in this video I am with the Samsung Galaxy S23 and I'm gonna show you all the best tips and tricks for your camera. Okay, so as you can see at the first we are going to start from the photo mode. At the first I'm gonna show you how you can increase details on the photos. So currently when we take photo we can focus for example on this button that is in front of me. Let's catch focus by tapping on the screen, take photo and let's make small comparison. So when you click right here on the aspect ratio, you can choose this 50 megapixel mode and the 3 by 4 aspect ratio. So let's select and let's make the same photo of the same button. This first photo was taken with the normal mode and we can focus for example maybe on this part. As you can see, we can find some texture right here of this button. The photo looks really good. But when you switch for this 50 megapixel mode, as you can see, for me, actually, I can spot more details, especially when I take a look on this arena. But what is interesting that also, that's the different color on the photo, as you can see, on the surface and also on the button. So we can try to make this photo another time to see if this gonna looks the same so that's the 50 megapixel mode and let's switch for the normal mode catch focus take photo that's post processing right now and as you can see there's the second time that this 50 megapixel mode give us a little bit different white balance for me it's for me it's the white balance so when we zoom in right here, we can definitely go closer, as you can see, but the colors are different. Maybe outside it will look a little bit better, but yeah, that's something that I want to show you. There is another option with the volume buttons, they are located on the right side, and we can click volume up or volume down, and we can take photos. When we click and hold one of this button, we are going to take series of the photos. And as you can see, we can take 100 photos in each series. It works the same for the volume up and volume down buttons. When you open the gallery right now, we can find all of these photos. And to take a look for the preview, just click right here. And right now you can just slide and it will look like GIF animation. If you want to save any of these photos, just select them. You can tap on the photo or just click on this uh, bottom, bottom right corner. And to save, click right here. And you can delete all unselected pictures, so we can decide. Then click save. And after that, as you can see, the photos appears in the gallery. Next, there is also something that I want to show you that you can change function of these volume buttons because this setup is default. So we can open the settings, let me just rotate the screen and when you scroll down we can go for the shining methods and as you can see right here we can change for example to zoom in or zoom out and for me it works really great because these functions that you can find right here are also available for the shutter I'm gonna show you after a few moments so take a look right now when you click and hold volume up button you are going to smoothly zoom in and we can zoom in to the 30 times actually. Okay, it will take too, too, long, too much time, so I'm gonna just click right here. And to zoom out, let's start for example for the 20, we can press and hold the volume down button. So as you can see, that's how it works. And when we are right here for zooming in and out, as you can see, normally you can get the ultra wide lens 1x and 3x but when you tap on each preset you will unlock 10 20 and also 30 zoom when you go for the 20 and 30 you will get on the right upper upper right corner this preview uh, to show you how it looks it will be a little bit uh, easier to navigate in my case it looks not good because i'm in the office so i don't have enough space to show you and the quality of the zoom but you know how to zoom in and zoom out and also we can pinch screen with the two fingers next we can simply move for this shutter button and we can click and hold it to take short video you can move your finger to this lock and after that you don't have to hold this lock anymore and you can simply take photos as you can see 
You can also rotate to the selfie camera and the video is still recording. You can pause the video, unpause, you can use zoom feature for sure and then just click to finish. When you swipe down the shutter button, you are going to use the shutter, I mean the series of the photos, the burst shot, it's the same uh, for this uh, volume buttons that I show you, but you can also switch function of this gesture. So we have to go for the settings, we have to go for the shutting methods, and it was actually not right here, let me go back. Yeah, it was right here, swipe shutter button to take burst, shot or create GIF. Take a look right now how it works. Then release, and right now let's take a look how it, how it looks. As you can see, there is our GIF animation created with the swipe function of our shutter. Okay, right now we are going to move for this bar. In this place we can find shutter delay. So if you want to take, for example, the group photos with your friends, family, you can just click for two seconds, tap on the shutter, and after a countdown the photo will be taken. You can set even for 10 seconds. Right here I just show you that you can change the aspect ratio. It's always the best to stay with the 3x4, that's the default aspect ratio of this matrix right here and you will get the best quality of the photos. When you click right here you will enable motion photos so it will look like short animation before taking the photo. So let me show you how it works. You just have to click on the gallery to view motion photo and it looks like short animation before taking the photo. Next when you tap right here in the right, right upper corner we can find default presets of filters as you can see they change color and the temperature and you can also adjust the strength of each filter. When you click on the plus you can download filters or even create your own. You can pick for example this one and it will basically take all of the parameters from this photo that you take and show you how it looks right now on the preview. We can also go for the face, you can turn it on and right now when you turn to the selfie camera you can change a little bit your face, you can change the jawline for example, the same for the eyes, you can make bigger or smaller eyes, skin tones you can also change and smoothness on your face. So here we can find these parameters. Next we can just turn it off and right now we can go for other settings because we can find a lot of useful options. So uh, right here, as you can see, as a default you can scan QR codes. It's enabled, so if you are looking for a QR code scanner, you don't have to because this option appears right here. And you just have to go for the photo, for, for the photo mode, and then just put this QR code in front of you, and the phone will will be will be able to scan code and give you message to open the website or move you to the external application, wherever you are scanning. We can also add watermark to our photos if you want. That's the preview how it looks. You can get the model name, you can also get the uh, date and the time. You can even change the font of this watermark position. Honestly for me, in this preview it looks the best right here. And you can even add your own signature click save and that that's how it looks when you take photo it will looks like that next we can scroll down as you can see right here we can find video stabilization it's also enabled as default but when you go for the advanced video settings you can enable for example the HDR plus videos you can also turn on or turn off zoom in microphone and also we can enable the 360 audio recording but when you enable this function the zoom in microphone will be turned off so we can decide which way um, of recording audio uh, you want to select. We can also enable the grid lines and also the location tags. You have to grant permission to the location right now and as you can see the grid lines appears on the screen. They basically help us to take better composition of the photos and there is also this small dot as you can see and when you catch 
the level, you will get this yellow frame. So that's what this white uh, white dot do. And we can just scroll down one more time and we can find <clears throat> another time the shining methods. We can also take photos by using voice commands like smile, cheese, capture, shot or record videos by saying record video. So let's enable and we are going to check if it works. And there is also the floating shutter button. So let's get it also and take a look right now. As you can see, this button appears on the screen. It will be useful for you, for example, if you cannot reach this bottom, sh bottom shutter right here. So we can use this one. If you want to put it back, just drag it to the main shutter. To unlock it again, just swipe like that or go to the settings. You can decide. Right now we can find this voice shutter. So let's say smile, capture, cheese. As you can see, we can take photos. Let's go for the videos. Record video. And as you can see, it's also working. So that's nice because sometimes in the other smartphones, I was trying to use this voice, mo voice mode, especially in the Huawei, and it wasn't working. So right here in the Galaxy S23, it's working. Not bad. When you go for the more modes, you can find other useful options. Right now we can use the single take mode. And with this mode, you can just click on the shutter. And after that, your phone is going to record for like 10 or 15 seconds video. And after that, from this video, it will gives you stuff from other modes. Like for example, it will change the single take video to hyperlapse, to slow motion, to photos with filters, to crop photos. So you can also tap on this right upper corner and as you can see, we'll find the full list of modes that this single take uh, allows us to, to create, right? So let's click on the shutter. As you can see, it's this shutter countdown and after this time, it will be finished. Okay, and let's see. You have to also wait for like a few seconds until the phone finished all the processing stuff. Let's see. Okay, as you can see currently it's only the one, but after a few moments we get the second. That's the four right now. Let's open it, let's see what we can find here. As you can see here we can find the original video. Right here we can find fast forward video with the music. Here we can find the boomerang clip. As you can hear, it also give us uh, give us some kind of the music in the background, and that's the best shot, the photo shot from this video. So you can get right here one, two, three, four, five, six, six modes by using one single take short video for me some kind of the useful option but right now we can just go back and let's take a look for the other options as you can see right here we can find AR zone when you click on it once you can find right here for example the quick measure AR doddle let me show you how it works that's funny you can basically draw in the real time but when you try to move for the rear camera you have to click download so let's get it we can select, for example, the Play Store. Okay, I'm not logged into my account, so let me do this quickly. I'm gonna speed up this video, definitely. Okay, and as you can see, first of all, we have to update this Google Play services for AR. So we have to be connected to the Wi-Fi and mobile data and log in also for our Google account. Now just download this stuff. Okay, and looks like we are on the rear camera. And let me show you how it works. For example, you can draw something. Each time you click on the screen, there's also the sound, but you can turn it off by tapping right here. And as you can hear, there's no sound. 
So yeah, there it is. And you can just record video with this. With this hey and smile on the screen. You can just take a photo also and finish the video. And that's how it looks. There's also other things, like you can point the camera at the real world objects to make it into a 3D sticker. Okay, so we can try to make something from this fake plant. Let's see if it works. Okay, and as you can see, here we have it. We can scan again, we can move it just right here okay we can even flip it that's funny looks good we can click down and it also appears on the screen we can move it with the finger and you click on the trash you can just dis discard all of this you can also add the text and it will appear on the screen so yeah we can also find this, I mean, take a look for this quick measure. Let's install and let's see how it works. It's a very famous tool in the iPhones, but I didn't use it in the Samsung. So let's find out how it works. We have to grant permissions. Okay, we have to move camera a little bit for the right and the left. Okay, and let's try to measure something, for example, the space between this button and my Pixel phone. So I'm going to show you from this position, click on the plus to add one point and then move it for my phone. And it's at around six. Uh, I guess it's it might be true, actually. You can take photo of this, you can finish, you can also go for like human measurement. That's interesting, but I cannot, cannot use it right now. And yeah, there's a lot of options in the Samsung Galaxy S21, S23, I mean, <laughs> S23. So that's all my camera tips and tricks and some kind of the hidden features on this phone. If you find this video helpful. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel.